At the moment, we can say that the work that has already been planned was performed at a very high professional level. And I also want to add that the work itself was, did not consist only of the launch, but it was a very thorough work of all crew members. It was the training of the crew members. The crew that launched today is a very good crew. They're very good friends. And I think that they can, can be an example of how professional crew members can be and how great people they can be. Of course, I think that they will continue working in the same way. I'd like to uh, thank and congratulate our Russian colleagues for a, a wonderful event today. And as Oleg described, we got to see a unique crew, a crew of friends that works together and are real professionals, and we got to see a ground team that really prepared them for this space flight. И хотел бы, как уже подчеркнул Олег Николаевич, подчеркнуть еще раз, что сегодня мы запечатлели замечательный экипаж, очень дружный экипаж, который прекрасно отработал вместе, и специалистов здесь на земле, которые оказали необходимую поддержку для этих операций. I think we demonstrated today what, what can come from international cooperation and from working together as a team. И сегодня мы показали, я считаю, какие результаты мы можем получить, если мы работаем в рамках международного сотрудничества, и если мы работаем как одна команда. There's no limit to what a team can accomplish if they work together like this team did today, as we got to see with this wonderful document. Thank you. My turn. I would like to uh, to thank uh, Roscosmos and our Russian partner for uh, this beautiful launch and. Uh, uh, rendezvous and docking uh, uh, to the space station. Со своей стороны я хотел бы поблагодарить наших российских партнеров и Роскосмос за замечательный запуск, сближение и стыковку международной космической станции. It is uh, so beautiful that it looks uh, easy, uh, but it's not easy. It's a very complex uh, uh, technical uh, uh, problem and. Uh, I think that uh, the only way to solve uh, these uh, complex uh, problems is uh, to uh, uh, put the expertise of Russia, uh, of the United States and uh, of uh, Europe together. Было настолько прекрасно наблюдать за этой стыковкой, что показалось, что все прошло очень легко. На самом деле это очень непростая операция, с технической точки зрения она очень трудная. И для того, чтобы решать эти технические сложные задачи, мы должны сложить всю ту экспертизу, которая существует в России, в Соединенных Штатах и в Европе для достижения результата. To make one Russian, one American and one European traveling safely to the space station. Uh, uh, it's a uh, thousand of people on planet Earth who have to work uh, together. Для того, чтобы обеспечить безопасный полет одного россиянина, одного американца, одного европейца на международную космическую станцию, для этого нужны совместные действия, совместная работа тысяч людей на Земле. We have built up this partnership in the last uh, 20 years, and uh, this is a very successful partnership. And I am convinced that this partnership will stay much longer than the hardware of the space station. Мы работаем над этим партнерством, которое у нас существует на протяжении последних 20 лет. Оно очень успешное, и я уверен, что оно будет оставаться успешным и будущим. Все вопросы будут? Do you have any questions? Yes, Roscosmos Studio. I would like to ask you the question. I know that you talked to the crew already. How do they feel? So, what did the commander of the crew say? So, I'm sure that you're not worried anymore about the crew. You know that they are already on orbit. So, what can you say about them? The crew members feel very good. I talked to Maxim Sarayev, the commander of the crew, and they were very excited. I could. 
absolutely hear that in his voice and the intonation and the words that he chose to express his feelings absolutely proved that they were absolutely excited. I also talked to the crew members that are already on board the station, to Alexander Skvartsov, and they are really looking forward to seeing new crew members on board the station. So, of course, uh, everyone is excited, everybody is happy that they have completed successfully the program that was initially planned for them. Can I ask you a second question? So, how can you assess the scope of the scientific program that will be performed by Alex Gerst and how important is that program for the European Space Agency? It's a very important uh, flight, obviously, and the uh, uh, Alexander will uh, will be very busy on the, uh, in the in the next uh, six months, and uh, I think that uh, he will have uh, uh, very little time to uh, uh, to enjoy uh, himself and to enjoy being on the space station because he's a, he has a very heavy schedule, a lot of uh, scientific experiments uh, to uh, uh, to conduct and. Uh, uh, to, uh, to have one Alexander Gerst on board, there are uh, several hundreds of scientists uh, uh, working uh, uh, with him uh, to, make, uh, to make scientific experiments, uh, be it on the physiology, biology, uh, uh, fundamental physics. And I am convinced that the, uh, the, the scientific progress uh, which uh, we shall get uh, from these uh, six months, uh, these coming six months, We'll have a lot of uh, uh, positive feedback on uh, on planet Earth, uh, uh, be it for the health of uh, citizens or uh, uh, to get uh, uh, better materials uh, uh, on planet Earth. So I think that it's uh, he's not there as a tourist; he's there as a, as a scientist and and even more as a representative of the of the scientist uh, of Europe. So. Uh, uh, it will, it will be very busy. Конечно, этот полет очень очень важен для нас. И что касается Александра Керса, то он будет очень загружен на борту Международной космической станции на протяжении следующих шести месяцев. Времени, конечно, у него будет немного для себя и для того, чтобы насладиться МКС, потому что его график будет очень насыщенным. Перед ним запланированы многие с научные эксперименты большое их количество на самом деле он у нас один на станции но он будет поддерживать работу сотен научных сотрудников которые будут, будут работать с ним над выполнением этих экспериментов он будет работать над экспериментами которые связаны с физиологией биологией физикой и другие научные эксперименты проделать на протяжении шести месяцев я надеюсь что результаты этих экспериментов помогут нам улучшить уровень жизни граждан всей планеты а также позволит нам создать новые материалы которые помогут улучшить жизнь здесь на земле поэтому надеюсь получить еще раз повторюсь хорошие результаты по истечении этих экспериментов important aspect of the flight of Alexander. I think that uh, uh, Alexander will be also uh, during these six months uh, a model for the, for, the, for the children and the, uh, and the young generation. And uh, uh, I am convinced that by uh, uh, seeing uh, uh, Alexander, a lot of young people in, uh, in Europe and maybe even beyond Europe will uh, will understand that uh, uh, the future is uh, is made of cooperation and uh, and that uh, space also belongs to the future of planet Earth. Еще хотел бы сказать, что естественно Александр будет являться моделью для нового поколения, для большого количества детей, которые будут следить за его полётом. Я уверен, что те дети, молодое поколение, которые обратят на него внимание, они поймут, что сотрудничество, оно может принести замечательные результаты народам не только Европы, но народам, которые проживают за пределами Европы, и только в рамках сотрудничества мы в будущем можем достичь замечательных результатов. Well, maybe it's from NASA Television. Congratulations on this triumph today for each of you gentlemen uh, in demonstrating 
this uh, human and technical achievement of reaching the station in just six hours uh, with a multilateral crew, what message do we send the world about what nations can do when they work together, not only today, but in the future? So could you repeat the translation, please? Can you repeat it, please? Would you repeat your question, please? Yes, certainly. Uh, in demonstration, absolutely correct. That only working together we can achieve higher results. If we will not work together, higher results will never be achieved because so many people. Uh, need to approach joint activities because they are very, very difficult to achieve. There are many components and thousands of people work on the same activity to achieve high results. And we can only achieve those by working together. If you look at it, those processes are very, very complex and uh, thousands of people are working together and nothing can fail. All of the pieces and assemblies need to provide and achieve results. And I hope that we will actually work together like this in the future. And I would add that, again, what we saw today sometimes looks easy on television, but it is not easy um, in reality. It really comes from a lot of preparation and a lot of hard work. It also comes from a lot of teamwork. As you, as you look at the video images, some of those came through NASA resources down here to the ground. The Soyuz vehicle performed flawlessly, built here in Russia. The rendezvous systems worked precisely as they should go work, but the communications and video and other things were coming from the NASA side and from the space station. So again, that cooperation between the, the programs and the partners really make this activity work. And hopefully the, the youth of the world can see that from, from hard work comes really good things, and hopefully there's some inspiration that comes from this. And, and the beautiful images of the Earth that we get to see, and the astronauts, and their, their words that they share with us, maybe it will inspire all of us to work harder, to, to figure out ways to work as a team. Uh, prior to launch, I, I, I talked to my colleagues, and I saw a, uh, a crew that was really united, was really one team, ready to work together. Uh, Oleg told me how he's worked with both uh, Alexander and worked with Reed, and instead of being um, astronauts, they are really cosmonauts. He, he, he treated them as, as an equal, and, he, and they really grew as a team. So I think we should look to this, this crew as a role model, and we ought to model their activities and, and figure out ways that we can work as that same seamless team moving forward. You know, I, I can't think personally of any place better to be than to hear today, other than if, if the three of us were on a Soyuz vehicle heading to space. I'm, I'm sure Jean-Jacques would like to go to space. <laughs> yes. I, I think Oleg would like to go to space, and I'm sure I would. So if we were sitting like this in a Soyuz vehicle, we would be really happy. We're pretty happy here today, but we could be really happy in the Soyuz. We are the crew already. We are ready to go to space. Okay, so on my side, I would like to, uh, to uh, also to, uh, to say uh, and, and to repeat what uh, my uh, colleagues and friends have already said. Uh, uh, we, uh, I would not like to give the impression that uh, we are working together only uh, during the launch and during the rendezvous. Uh, we are working together uh, every day. Uh, and uh, there is not a single day where uh, uh, we are not working together and to make this success as uh, uh, Bill was saying uh, this is uh, a lot of preparation and a lot of preparation together that it's uh, uh, number one number two uh, working together is much more than uh, uh, countries working together uh, it's more than uh, Russia United States and uh, and uh, Europe uh, it, it's more people working together. The people are more important than the countries because you, you, you have to trust your neighbor. 
because you cannot uh, make this success if you are not trusting uh, your neighbor, uh, uh, be, he, uh, be he or she American, Russian or uh, European. And, uh, and to work together, you have to understand each other, because if you don't understand each other, uh, no way to, uh, uh, to work together. Uh, number three, yes, I am ready that at the next Soyuz launch, uh, we are the three of us on board uh, Soyuz. I am ready. Uh, so uh, uh, you uh, you can be the one to launch uh, us three uh, in orbit together. I am ready. Хотел бы сказать следующее, что, как уже мои коллеги здесь заявили, мы продолжаем работать вместе и делать это очень успешно. Но хотел бы затронуть и повторить следующее, что мы работаем вместе не только во время сближения, стыковки и запуска. Мы работаем каждый день. Не проходит ни одного дня, когда мы не работаем вместе. И это очень-очень важно и позволяет нам достигать такие результаты. Это первое. Второе, я считаю, что мы работаем вместе не просто как страны Россия, Соединенные Штаты и европейские страны, но мы работаем вместе и объединяем людей вместе. То есть это не просто страны, которые работают вместе, это люди, которые работают вместе и получают эти результаты в рамках этих стран. И очень важно еще сказать, что нужно научиться доверять своему соседу, потому что если вы своему соседу не доверяете, американцу, русскому, европейцу, то никаких результатов вы не получите. И третье, я хотел бы сказать, что я с удовольствием полетел бы на ракете носителей «Союз», и может быть в следующий раз вы сможете нас всех вместе на ней запустить в космос. Yes, I can think of something. Thank you very much once again and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. Okay. Okay, then we will meet in Moscow soon. Yes. Yes. We will meet in Moscow.